This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Life comes with lots of decisions, and sometimes it's hard to know which path is right. Therapy gives you a place to map out your options so you can trust your choices and get excited about the future. Visit betterhelp.com super to give it a try. Hey, brother! Okay. I'm here too. What's up? Guys, a couple of weeks ago, I went through and reacted to every single Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone cover out there, or so I thought. I asked you if there were any I missed, and it turns out, yes, there were a ton. I found 50, I wasn't even close. I found 45 more. So I decided instead of moving on to Chamber of Secrets just yet, we were gonna do another round of Philosopher's Stone. So today, buckle up, I'm gonna be going through and rating all of them on a scale of one to nine and three quarters. Whew. Let's dive on in. Hey, brother! All right, hands down, the number one cover that people sent me after the last video was the Icelandic edition, and for good reason. Oh my gosh, I don't even know where to begin on this one. I mean, we've got the train. We've established I like the train and the Philosopher's Stone covers. We're going to Hogwarts. That's good. But Harry looks like he's like photobombing the picture. He's like, hey, could I be in here? I don't like, I, the, uh, I don't love this shot of Harry. He's not smiling at all. He looks Looks like he just got, I don't know. I don't like his tie, it's the wrong color. He, I mean, he doesn't look like a hero, the right? Thing, yeah, the thing about this one for me, because I got to pop in okay, on yeah. now, yeah, is the, uh, I feel like the scar is the like, scar. I mean, it's like, you know, normally the scar in my mind is so subtle. This yeah. is, this is like, that's a proper That dash. is a scar. This guy just, yeah. uh, he's just like, yeah, I guess I'll go to magic school. It's better than my aunt and uncles. Oh my God, a bee. <laughs> Hold on, oh, no, I gotta give it a score. Uh, I'm giving this one like a like a three, like a three. Yeah. All right. Okay. Hungarian edition. All right. This one is significantly better right away. I mean, look at that. That's just. I mean, this guy looks like he looks like he looks like a hero. He's got Hedwig. We're in the Forbidden Forest. He's carrying a wand. You know, it's like a little bit magical, but you don't really know the story. The scar is not dead. Look. Scar, scar, way different. This is a much better scar. All right, Hungarian edition. It's pretty good. I'll give this one, I'll give that one like a six. Hungarian special edition. Okay, so uh, definitely more one you want like on your coffee table, I'm guessing here. It looks like, a I would like to own this one. It looks, if someone gave me this, I'd be like, oh, this is nice. I mean, just a sort of Hogwarts imprint here. This looks like one that you would own. Yeah, no, this this feels proper lovely. Yeah. I mean, this is like, if you're like your whiskey nook, you know, right. it's got like some cozy vibes to mm -hmm. it. it. It feels like a tome. It, it does feel like a tome. Yeah. It yeah. has a place, I think, like if I just saw this though, is this is this a a great Harry Potter cover? Well, it, I mean, you know, there's it's got the foil, the gold foil yeah. for the font and everything, which is always going to be a win in my own personal book. However, I do think that it is it is otherwise lacking. Like as far as that that embossed stamp across the bottom is concerned, mm -hmm. could have a bit more to do with like some more recognizable imagery because it, it it looks more like like a standard university than like a wizarding school. To mm. me. I'm out. Six. Oh boy, German Book Club Edition. This one is definitely reminiscent of the actual German cover. I recognize these little tiny glasses he's got going here from the last time around. His hair looks like he's a scarecrow or some kind of straw or something. Um, I don't love the shoes. I don't like how the broom is bending. I don't like the cape, personally. I do like the owls, the forest. Hogwarts, I feel like, looks like a prison down here. So, I, and he's wearing a vest. Why is he wearing, I don't know. It doesn't, this isn't how you dress for Quidditch. And that's all, that's the only time he really flies in to this me, book. To, I feel like it's, it, it, it's, it's giving magic school bus. It's giving yeah, magic yeah. school, <laughs> yeah. This, mm, it's not, I mean, it's not as bad as the first one at all. Uh, Five. Middle of the road so far, this one here, but hello, French 25th anniversary edition. Wow, 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 France. We have grown up since the pilgrims. This one is amazing. I love it. Okay, I love the, the fiery lion fighting the snake. It's a little more chamber than Philosopher's Stone, but that's good. He's got the sorting hat and we have the stone. We have Hedwig, Fluffy, the castle, Ron, Hermione, Dumbledore, Snape. Oh, dude, no. Oh, and there's Hagrid. The, the, I don't know who this is supposed to Draco? be. You think, oh, Draco, Draco. Yeah, that's then, definitely is it Draco. Neville, Neville bottom left there? Oh my gosh, there's so much more to find. Okay. Yes, okay, there's Draco. So we don't have Quirrell on here at all, <gasps> that's good. Oh, oh. the unicorn the in the uni bottom. Oh, oh, I love dude. the unicorn. France, that, what a glow up for France. They went from the, did you see the Pilgrims one? I saw the Pilgrims one, <laughs> I did, I did indeed, yes. Ooh, don't know about that one. This one looks awesome. I'm giving this, I mean, this is a nine. 
for sure. Oh, Estonia edition. Look at this. This is a very different vibe. Okay, I love the glasses. It Like the kaleidoscope effect, it looks cool. It makes me wonder like, is this how this character sees? But I think if you're if you're buying this one, you probably already know about Harry Potter. I will say, I will say, I like all the stuff, all the artifacts from the first uh, book down here. But I have to say, the the shape of the mirror looks very informed by the movies, and I don't love it when there's movie stuff on book covers. Yeah, this one, this one sort of has like the. Um, it almost seems like somebody was like clip art database for Harry Potter artifacts. Yep, we got the owl, the unicorn. I don't even know if this is from the books. Maybe it's just from like the oh, yeah, uh, like right. Scottish it's flag. Just like, yeah. Oh, it's just like clip art anything magical, not necessarily Harry Potter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but I, I do agree with you. I feel like I feel like the uh, the mirror of air said there in the middle of Scott. It's it's like literally just the exact one from the film. Yeah. Which, which I feel like that you know the the books should always inform the films, not the films informing the books. I agree with you on that. So this I think definitely came out after the movies. It's losing a point for the shape of the mirror. Still gonna give it a seven. <laughs> Oh, check, what is happening here? I like the real, it's giving Potter puppet pals is what we got going here. What is the Dumbledore? Is that the mirror behind him? Or is that just his chair? I don't know. Uh, I, look at this sort of cat. I have never seen it depicted as a top hat with lips on the top. <laughs> yeah, uh, can you imagine Godric Gryffindor wearing that hat around? Oh, right, like the other The other founders are like. Like, dude, Gr Godric. He's like, we'll put, this is how we'll sort. And they're like, it is not, it's too late. We've started. It, it is, it could be a magician's hat. Like it, you could pull a rabbit from that hat. Yeah, it's and, the wrong kind of magic. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, look, oh, look at the ghost. It's like a little Casper ghost or something. <laughs> <laughs> and who is it sitting on the, in the green on this, the end there? I guess this is Snape, but he's definitely got a lot more like moody vibes going to him. He's got, he's got something. Something, I guess this, is. Well, I was gonna say this is McGonagall, but maybe this is McGonagall. I, mm, one of them, don't know who this is. Missing Hagrid. Why is he wearing a cape? That's not, okay. Uh, <laughs> I love the white pants. I do love that, because they changed on the train, so you could only assume the rest of the Great Hall is dressed this exact way. Right, right, right yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's a, mm, three. Oh, oh, oh no, oh. Wow. Oh, this is the worst one by a long shot. This is, what is this, Catalan edition? Oh, it's, boy, we said clip art before. I think this is just clip art. This looks like, like Getty images typed in wizard. He possibly, <clears throat> this lad was possibly performing a, a birthday party on a Sunday afternoon, somebody nabbed it's, a photo of him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, I, I heard you're working on a wizard thing? I got just the picture for the cover. Oh, oh, it's so bad. I don't know what Catalan or Catalan is or where it is. This is horrible. This is, uh, oh. Well, it's, uh, I, would, I would say that if, if, if this, if I was gonna have a wizard, come to my birthday party. It's a pretty cool get up. But you're not you know? <laughs> But like to to have taken a live action photo of a human being to place it on the cover. No. Um, yeah. Photos, yeah. photos in general on Harry Potter covers, big no. This is a one. Oh no, here we go. Chinese serial edition number two. Okay, so this one, this is a little bit different. I discovered these on this roundabout of things. This is like a two-parter. I, I was trying to make sure I had room for it. But so this is, the way it works uh, for this is that uh, you would buy this book and this is the first half of Philosopher's Stone and then you'd also have this one to go with it. So these are part of a set uh, and they're both covers but since it's like two covers for one book I don't know exactly how that works but so uh have to say let's go by the first one first here. I really like this one. I love the way the sorting hat looks. I like the little feather. You can tell we're in the Great Hall. Dumbledore is looking all majestic back here. We have the lion. I guess that's maybe a little spoilery. Um, not huge. It just say Gryffindor right there. So there's that. The uniform. Where's I mean? Where's his white pants? Jeez. No. This is this is great. I love that one a lot. That's like 
That to me looks like, I would buy this. This looks like, I don't know what's happening here. That looks like an eight to me. As far as the second half, I, so chess, the chess board was a big theme the last time around. And what I like about this one is that you'll have read this part of the book first. So you'll have been introduced to wizard's chess. So when you see this one, now one, you already know who Ron is. You already know who Hermione is. And you're like, oh, they were playing chess earlier. Now it's big chess. So I, this, uh, I think that that works really well for it being a two part thing. So I think, I think as a combination, I'm giving these guys an eight. Those are awesome. <laughs> is he is he kicking the snitch? <laughs> Spanish paperback edition. Uh, I don't know what is happening here. This is like a real perspective point of view sort of shot. Uh, it looks like he's trying to grab the snitch with his toes through his sneakers, which don't look like wizard sneakers either. I don't like that. Also, I don't know why he'd be wearing green while he's playing Quidditch, what if he's on Gryffindor. They just love to put Harry in a cape in this book. I don't, like, he does not, he doesn't, they don't wear capes. No capes. I don't like the cape. What do, I mean, what do you see here? Yeah, I, I mean, I, <laughs> It's like just like a bamboo stick. Look, it's like segmented. It does. It does look segmented. Yeah, it's certainly. It's it's an interpretation. It's a, um. It's you a know, go. I, I don't know that it, it's properly encompassing all of the uh, like for such a magical sport. I feel like maybe it's not the the, the it's not achieving. Um, depicting the magicalness of it very well yeah. because it almost appears as if he is like like somehow. Standing, maybe it's more of like a gymnast type oh, you're, of yeah, sport. Yeah, you know? yeah, you're right. You've taken Quidditch, which is naturally cool and really like you wouldn't. Yeah, you sort of dumbed it down. Mm -hmm. Uh, three. Oh no! Oh no! What oh, no, is no, this? No, 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 no! It's that... it's the soap opera edition. <laughs> Don't worry. Yeah, it comes on during daytime every day. They haven't missed an episode for like thirty-seven years. It's uh, all good. Right? Yeah. yeah. Sure. Azerbaijan yeah. edition. Oh no. Okay. So this reminds me of the the one from last time with the the picture of the philosopher's stone on it. It's except somehow worse. I mean, <laughs> except again, I don't like pictures on the cover of the books. So this looks like just the movie prop or something, but. But also they added a chain, which the stone is never on a chain. It's not on a necklace at all. Uh, I feel like this section of the stone looks like it really pops out too. I don't like, just like the weird reflection of the, the, the way it's glaring from the light. I guess Hogwarts looks okay back there. Sure, uh, yeah, that could be Hogwarts, why not? I, yeah, it could be Hogwarts. I don't like it. I don't like picture, mm -mm. no. What was this? This was a three. It's, you know, it looks cooler than this, but it, I, no, see, I think here's the thing though is I think Maybe at least go back, go back. Yeah. the Spanish paperback one at the very least I think could attract uh, a young reader to pick yeah. it up and buy it. You're so right. maybe not the best depiction. I feel like I don't know who this is trying to attract. I know this looks like a little bit romantic or something. It does. You know, it does. Like you're yeah. gonna be misled by this. This is mm, two. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Uh, Persia edition. I like this. Oof, what is happening here again with the capes every single time. Uh, is this supposed to be Hogwarts or the Potter's house is the question. Like it, it looks too grand to be the Potter's house and not grand enough to be Hogwarts. I guess that's Voldemort. We, this is, I think this is the first time we've seen Voldemort on the cover at all. Is that Vernon down there on the bottom? I don't know. Who is the man on fire? This is, I don't know who that is. The owl's like, yeah, I don't know either. I don't even know what I'm doing here. They called me for a cover. Uh, here I am. Uh, they, they, they seem surprised I wasn't a snowy owl. And right. now I'm feeling a little bit like, like yeah. I'm not supposed to I be on this down. shoot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've been there, you know, it's like, I don't know if I'm the guy for your job, but, um, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, we've got the lightning bolt. I guess that's for the for the scar. You can sort of see it up here. This kid, uh, it looks like they took a picture of a real kid and then just put like a real blurry filter over him or something. This is like the tenth time we've seen Harry and like the Converse. I guess that's just what he wears. Yeah, that could be. I mean, I, I mean, at some point in time, you know, you got to figure the Dursleys bought him shoes of of some kind. Which, yeah. The other thing I always think is interesting is that the the Dursleys must have taken Harry to get glasses at some point in time too. It's hard to imagine like you know him going to like the optometrist, but. I will say, look, he's doing the OBJ, like he's got some style points for how he's catching the stitch. He's just like, what's up, boom, I got it. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, which one would you buy, Ben? This one or this one? <laughs> 
I am not going to fib at you, brother. I believe I would buy the daytime um, the day, soap opera before daytime, yeah. I would buy the uh, b- before the, yeah, before yeah. the Persian jumps out at you here. That yeah. just looks so missed. Like this looks like different art from this, from this, from this, from it. Just looks so it, mismatched. It does. Yeah, I mean, like the owl literally looks like it was borrowed from like the uh, like a like a halfway through the plot of like a children's story or something. You know, like. Yeah. Like it, that owl clearly has done other things, has played other parts. It's played other parts. Rather than maybe being Hedwig on this page. One. Okay, Portuguese edition. Okay, we have uh, we have the owl again. I Boy, they went, I don't know why they went pink here. This barely looks like an owl. Uh, riding the broom, that's cool. That gives you like that sense of magic. We have the letters falling down. This is still, this one's fine, I think. I mean, I wish the owl looked a little bit better, but it like. Yeah, they, they could have, I mean, there was so much contrast potential with the the, the broomstick branches on the bottom. Yeah. Like to, to have what is otherwise a, a like stark white owl be like kind of like a gold color next to that color spectrum. Like I think they're just missing out on the ability to have it pop a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. So. All right, this one's all right. I'll give it a, mm, it's like a, it's like a four. Russian adult edition. Boy, it lo- I mean, I guess we have the train. I like I like whenever the train is on there because I, again, I feel like that's like the point of the first book. Like not only is Harry going to Hogwarts, but you, the audience are going there. So you would read Hogwarts. You would think, I don't know where that is. This train's going there. It doesn't get, but putting it in black and white is not great. Cause then it, you lose the, like the the scarlet steam engine effect. Yeah, who is who is uh, Nick Cage's character in Into the Spider Verse? The the like noir version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it feels it feels more like a crime novel um, to me than it does. Yeah, well, it looks like, like he's gonna break out of prison or something. Right, it's crime like the or great train escape. Like a futuristic dystopian, but old school steam engine something or another. Yeah, I, I mean. It has Hogwarts Express on there, so at least yeah, you can see that clear as that. But even the font that they use, like right. I, I obviously can't read, you know, like the, the Russian words or anything, but like it does seem, it, it, I feel like it just gives me such a different kind of overall feel. Like That's, if you take Hogwarts Express off of that, then I'm like, I have no idea. No idea. Potter, but right? here's the thing is that like, clearly the language is different. So if you only speak Russian, you're not gonna know what this says anyway. Oh, that's a fair point. So right, yeah. so I think there's that. I mean, is there, is there, uh, Four. Oh, now this one, on the other hand, Russian Black Edition. <laughs> oh, I do like the owl and the letter. So, like, I'm just trying to think. If you just see this, you think owl carrying mail, and that already feels cool. It'll say Philosopher's Stone on it, so you might have an, an idea that it's magical. The owl. Mm, it's a really cool picture of the owl. I mean, and I guess it wouldn't be Hedwig yet because it's the one delivering the mail. Definitely a thousand times better than that one. Um, I'm gonna give that like a like a solid six, I think. Oh, here we go. U.S. Mass Market Edition. I guess there's a solid chance you've had this one, although I've never seen this one before. Have you seen this one? I have not seen this one before. It looks <clears> like <throat> it looks like they literally borrowed chapter art, but I don't remember that chapter art from anything. Is that from Detention? No, this is uh, this is chapter 13, Nicholas Flamel. Is it? Yes, it is. Okay. So it is from the first book. It is just chapter art from it. Um, I guess you have just a hooded figure running into the woods. Is that, is that gonna make, and the Sorcerer's Stone. Who is this even supposed to be? Is this one he like flies over and sees, like, I, is that Voldemort going into the woods? I'm not even supposed to, you know, the Snape like confronts Quirrell in the woods at one point. Right, yeah, yeah. I don't know, who, who is running to the woods? I don't know, I guess just hooded figure going to the woods, Sorcerer's but, Stone. But you would not get to the end of the book, look at the cover and be like, ah oh, yes, the iconic scene where- Right, where that happened. Where that happened, yeah. I guess based even just on this part up here, number one worldwide bestseller, you already know probably about Harry Potter if you're buying this book. Right. You know, so there's that mass market edition. It's like, yeah, did you miss out on the other cover? Get this one now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this not, one's for the masses. If you already know, then you're not gonna buy this one compared to the one you already have. Cause right. the, the, like, the OG is so iconic. So much better, yeah. So I'm surprised, it says mass market, which means you'd think this would be like the prevailing one, but I've honestly never seen it no. before. No. Um, yeah, not that, I mean, it's all right. Uh, not as good as that one for sure. So I'm gonna have to give this like a four. UK gift edition. Okay, this one was hard to get a clear picture of. Uh, so I think the purple is like the like the sleeve box for the orange book. So if you're just like looking on the shelf at that, I mean, it's a very cool image of Hogwarts. Uh, 
I like I like the castle for the first thing, and then you have the the owl when you open it up as well. Okay, because it's just like we're going to a castle. I don't know what's gonna happen there. It's called Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Big castle. What happens there? I like that. I like the artwork. I like the contrast. If you open it up, you see the owl carrying the mail. That's intriguing too. That's very solid. Um, I think that's like a I think that's like a seven. Oh no. No, no, no. No, no. What? I'm pretty ben? sure I'm pretty sure our grandfather has this historical book of trains this sitting on his coffee is, table. How is this how is this a UK edition? How did this come out in the homeland of Harry Potter as the cover? This is look, it's a Scarlet Steam engine, okay? This one doesn't even say Hogwarts Express. This is a black and white picture of a train from what looks like Detroit, Michigan. Okay? <laughs> like, what is with the power lines? There is nothing magical about this cover at all. It is conceivable an owl could fly and sit on one of those power lines. Look, nothing- It's, look, it's a location <laughs> it could perch. This is terrible. Funny, imaginative, magical, black and white train. This does not look funny or imaginative. This doesn't look imaginative. I, wow. This, it does almost <laughs> feel like like a joke. Like it some, does. I mean, and it's like, this is one where it's, it's not like it's a bad photo of a train. It's, it's not, just the application of that photo for this context is just, like disconnected. It's so bad. It just looks like it looks like pollution. It looks like black and white. It, oh, and the power lines. God, there's the. I feel like electricity is the most opposite of Harry Potter. There is like they don't need electricity. They got magic. Yeah. This is. But also, if you're if you're picking this up and seeing that the Times called it funny, imaginative, and magical, are you like, I can tell. I can tell that when I crack this book, that's what I'm gonna get. No. Yeah. This is a one. Okay, Breton edition. My question is, do you think it is sold with a leather cover with actual clasps and bindings? Or is it just a picture of a leather cover with clasps and bindings? Because if it has <clears throat> the metal and it is made of leather, this is a nine this is a nine and three quarters. That's amazing. I somehow doubt it. I somehow doubt it. Yeah. Based on the, um, I would say, I would say like the way that the photo looks cropped into this picture here, yeah. it, it appears as if like it could be a photo of it and is not properly showing like the, the textured surface. However, I don't know how you would accomplish the lightning. Uh, the, the lightning or the text does not look like it could yeah. be like, stamped into leather I, in that way. It looks like they've so. just printed, yeah, this is a paper book that has fake metal corners on it. And uh, for that, I don't, yeah, mm, no, I don't like it. I wish it just had like the owl or the train or the castle or something. So Breton edition, you give it a two. That sounds about right, that's a two. Ooh, paperback illustrated edition. I've never seen this one. Uh, I have the actual illustrated edition, although mine is Sorcerer Stone. But I like, the, dude, I don't think I've seen this one at all. The, uh, the flying motorcycle is almost never on the cover. I really like the blue too. It's like a different feeling. Haven't seen a lot of these. I love this. Yeah. I love it. I think this it's one's gorgeous. great. Yeah, it's really cool. And especially because <clears> like you'd, this is one where like, the the flying motorbike. If you, if you you can't even call it a spoiler. It's in the first chapter. It's in of the, the first book. chapter. So like if you saw that on the cover and then opened it up and immediately found out that like Hagrid arrives on the flying motorbike, it's just like oh my god, oh, there it is. Like, I'm in it. And there it would also go. like let you know. There's something like very reassuring about that as well because like it would say that the book gave you something that happens right away and then it gave nothing else away at all. At so all. Nothing but more to come in this. But so. also like. You you see this and you're like motorcycles can't fly so like it, you it you immediately know magic is the foot something is different you want to know the story about the the motorcycle I like it yeah that one is fantastic I'm giving that a nine <laughs> <laughs> how do you say this oxygen oxygen I, I don't know I don't, however you say it whoa this. Okay, I know there was one last time where I thought the artwork was like really weird and someone told me like the artist was like really well known in that particular country so there was like more of a thing. That feels like it, I hope that's the explanation here because like what is this owl doing? It's like, oh God, oh God, this owl looks like it's high or something. I find, I, yeah, this is like one of those strange instances where it's like you look at it and you're like, well, it, like, okay, so you know how sometimes like there's like modern art of like a circle on like a canvas and you're like, well, anybody could draw that. And it's like, yeah, but yeah. you didn't and they right, did and it's here and, and now we're regarding it. Mm -hmm. It's like, I feel like there's like the possibility, yeah, that, that it could be something like that where it's like, while it may, while it may come across as not like obviously, um, 
like as imaginative, like maybe it's a lot harder to accomplish than we think. But I still don't but I know still that think this is it, the choice. I, yeah, I still I still don't know that that I see that and and it like <clears throat> would immediately like jump out to me off of a bookshelf. I think I mean though it looks I don't know it just looks more like maybe more like a traditional witch's hat. Like if you've never read it before, if you're not exposed to the wizarding world, I don't think this looks like a wizard yeah. necessarily. I mean the lips look fun. I just whew, this one. Is it better than the train? Still better than the black and white train. It's still better than the black and white still train. Still better than the black and white train, but just barely, I'm gonna give it a, uh, a three. All right, you guys, I think after that one, we need to take a quick break to thank today's sponsor, Hello Tushy. And I hope you're ready to take the paper labor out of your everyday, because right now they are offering 40% off of bidets and bundles. Look, I get it. Sometimes you wanna read a book and escape to an imaginary place, but sometimes in the real world, that's not possible. The only place you can escape to is your bathroom. Especially if you have kids or, well, I guess, unless you have kids, because really, really there is no escape. But the point is, we can update that meditation closet for you. And Hello Tushy will leave you feeling way more clean and refreshed, getting you two times as clean as toilet paper. But you don't just have to take it from me. They've got over 100,000 five-star reviews. Plus, every bidet comes with a 30-day risk-free guarantee and a 12 month warranty. Personally, I made the switch to a bidet during the whole like COVID toilet paper crisis. And honestly, ever since then, I wish I had come around just so much sooner. Got it at work, got it at home. And whenever I'm not in one of those places, I really miss the cleanliness from that bidet spray. It makes your bottom cleaner. It prevents those nasty particles from getting anywhere near your hands. And it just attaches to your existing toilet. So you don't have to have any like additional plumbing or electric work done. And in celebration of Labor Day, they have got an amazing sale happening right now where you can get 40% off all of bidets and bundles when you head to hellotushy.com forward slash super and then use promo code super at checkout. But that deal does end on September 11th, so make sure you act now one more time. That is hellotushy.com forward slash super and promo code super at checkout. Link is in the description down below. Let's get back to these books. Oh, here we go. Okay, so this is Spanish audio and Swedish edition. So that's not like one thing. These are just separate projects. If you get the Spanish audiobook version, it looks like this. If you buy the physical Swedish edition, it'll look like this. Uh, they just use the same artwork on both of them, so I listed it the same. Um, I like this one a lot. I feel like I've seen this as a poster a lot of the times. Um, and I think the whole series is kind of like this. It's always the castle is always in the same spot and different stuff is happening. So uh, Hagrid bringing Harry. There's the boats going across to the school. You got <clears throat> little kid being brought there by obvious big person going to awesome castle. I want to know what happens in the castle. I like this one a lot. Uh, I think that's like an eight. Oh no. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mongolia, what are you doing? This is, this is clearly just the movie poster with like an illustration filter on it. And no, that's stupid. I don't like it at all. This is horrible. Big X, sorry, that's a one, nothing else to say. Okay, here we go. This one's a little bit better for sure. Magical Beginnings Edition. Okay, so this one I think comes as part of a three piece set with uh, Philosopher's Stone Chamber and Prisoner. So this is just like book one. And I put this image down here because this I think did not look very good. I think that didn't uh, go very well onto the digital image, but this picture, you can kind of tell it's like much redder and it's got like the gold foil. This is, and yeah. It's a prime <laughs> example, like going back to like the picture of the train, the black and white picture of the train from earlier. It's like, you can go as simple as the train itself. <laughs> and be fine. Yeah. But like, and all I've injected here is like some small like little stars into like the smokestack to like right. kind of give you like just like a little bit of like it's a like, mystical this is, like. Yeah, this is a yeah. magical train. Um, the, I think this is a great example of like less is more and it's working well for it. Yeah, I think that's great. The gold leaf also makes it like extra Always. intriguing. It, I think if you could get a little closer, it looks like it has like a nice feel to it as well. I like this one a lot. This would be a great, like if this was your first book that, that you're cracking open, I think that's awesome. That's like, I think like a, like a seven. All right, Brazilian collector's edition. I guess collector's edition suggests that you already are familiar with the series, which maybe helps it a little because otherwise I think this looks like a chess textbook. Um, it's just got a picture of the queen. So there's not a whole lot to go on there. I don't think I would see this immediately and be like, I want to pick that up and read it. Um, three. Oh, now Chinese audiobook edition. Look at this one. I like this one 
A yeah. lot. I'm digging that. That's, yeah. that's pretty incredible. You've got a lot of stuff packed in there too. There's the chess yeah, board up got top. The chess got the flying board, key. the flying key, the sorting hat is there. I guess that's Hermione. Uh, I don't know who that would be. Hedwig is back there. You look at the fly. Oh, this is a great hall. They've like combined all of the elements seamlessly into the King's Cross, into platform nine and three quarters, but like just sort of replaced the images so that it all, it's all there. That's fun. That is very fun. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, this is the train. It's going to take you to all of these different adventures. These are the friends you're going to meet. Yeah, now that one is uh that is a slam dunk. I love it. I think that that might be like another nine and three quarters. Look at that, and it says it right there. It's been marked. It's, pre it's right pre there. It's pre-marked. Amazing. Wow. Well, well done. Wow. Well done, you know. Chinese audio cover. Well done. All right. <laughs> Now, <laughs> what is even happening here? Featuring like, chi chi <laughs> China. What? Did, how did you go from this to this? What is happening? There are a bunch of Chinese ones, hmm. by the way. Buckle up, people. At first, when I saw this one, I was like, "This has got to be a mistake. This isn't even. This can't be Harry Potter." Uh, but it says it. Look right here, Harry Potter, right there. I guess that's Harry. Uh, played Sand, by Chuck Norris, maybe? Played by Chuck Norris, sans glasses, doing martial arts. No idea who this is supposed to be with the with the headband. Who, who is the girl in How to Train Your Dragon? Oh, yeah, it could be her. Yeah. yeah. Sure, why not? Yeah, sure, that's her right there. You know, there are dragons in here. What is the spaceship? What? There's like this? a spaceship looking I something or another? I think this is Hagrid, I think. And I think this is the front, like the, the flashlight on front of the motorcycle, maybe? Okay. Maybe. Maybe this is the handlebar and not a headband on the girl. Okay. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm starting to see it a little bit I better. Oh, gosh. Like, you know, you're really having to squint at it, though. It like, is called Chinese Dramatic Edition. Well, I will say. It nailed the drama. It's dramatic. It looks nothing like Harry Potter. Like, at all. Um, I don't even know where to begin on this one. Uh, it's so different. It's the I thing feel like is, it's going for something I don't understand. Maybe so. Like I was gonna say, like it's it, it feels like it's trying. Um, like it is. It has achieved much yes. in a tone we're less uh, accustomed to. Yeah, I think it is probably achieving what it's trying to do. It's just like, should we have tried to achieve this? Yeah, I don't know. It feels. It feels like. It feels like. What if Harry Potter was um, like a different genre entirely? Yeah, but then you open it and it's the same story. It's so. the same story. Three. Chinese new curriculum must read edition. This is like, they they like were like, this kids love this. We're gonna print it and give it to the schools. And then we'll then at, at school, you'll be handed this book. And it will have this picture of Harry getting his letter to Hogwarts that looks like it was drawn by someone in the 1930s. Um, and I like, I don't think, it seems like they've almost gone out of their way to make you like unexcited to read Harry Potter. I, no, see it's this, like, yeah, I'm getting, the, to me, it almost seems like this isn't even a copy of Harry Potter. To me, this seems like an accompanying textbook. Yeah. For, like, and there's a, there's like an, a copy that has this artwork on it. Oh. That the circle is like encompassing. And you could be right. And, I don't know. Literally, this is like the textbook that you would like carry to you, like with you to class, and then inside it would like explain all the foreshadowing and symbolism and backstory and how creative writing works. Mm -hmm. But I think uh, it's a textbook. That's what it looks like. One Chinese paperback children's line. I told you there's a lot of Chinese ones. Uh, this one does have has like a like more Asian feel to it. He's riding the broom. He's got the scarf. Um, it's like the style of the art seems like it informs the decisions about like his clothing and stuff. He's got the owl up there. Um, is that a key floating? What is on the end of the broomstick here? Is that the snitch? I can't even tell. I guess there's Hogwarts down there. I guess you would see this and think it's about a boy who flies on brooms. It's all right. Um, it looks, I mean, yeah, I don't know, four. Okay, all right. I put this one in here because I need someone to explain it to me, okay? Because this is clearly not even a Harry Potter cover, right? This is clearly Peter Pan, right? That's Peter Pan and Wendy and the, the boys and they're flying the clock tower, they're going to Neverland, right? Except it says Harry Potter very clearly. <laughs> Right here. So I don't know what's happening with this one. I put, look, I even, I was like, I got to translate this. Mysterious magic mouth. I don't, 
I don't know, it says Harry Potter right across the top though. So I don't know what's going on here. If this is like in China, this, this book includes all of Philosopher's Stone plus Peter Pan or something. It says with two, is that what's happening? I don't know. I don't even know what to make of it as a Peter Pan cover. I mean, I guess I knew it was Peter Pan right away. <clears throat> this makes me wonder just like if, if when things are ever just like lost in translation, like, you know how sometimes people will get like a, um, like a like a character uh, from a different language tattooed on themselves, and then they'll, like they'll come to discover that it doesn't mean what yeah. they think it means. Right. Like, like I thought this meant breathe, and actually it just means rice ball. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Um, I feel like there's a, like a chance that this is sort of like 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 there's the possibility that somebody was like oh uh, like Peter Pan and Harry Potter like those those are overlapping They're basically the same like it's not even a Venn diagram of overlapping circles it's the same circle kids use magic to go um, to a different place which yeah so that that to me feels but i can't imagine i can't imagine what happens when you open this book i like, don't like, i know i feel less convinced that like, it is that like it starts the, with the same sentences that the other copies we've looked at. I start know. Like, 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 I feel like it's literally different. If you read the book and then look at the cover again, you're gonna be like, what is happening? What's right. going on? Also, just as a Peter Pan cover, there's no way Peter Pan would wear a hat like this. Okay, <laughs> let me just go ahead and say. Uh, so as a Peter Pan cover, it's, I think it's bad. And as a Harry Potter cover, I don't, it's 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 just, you know, it's not Harry Potter. So it's it's like a one. Farsi edition. I think this is also another Persian one. It's like an updated uh, one. So again, very simple. Less is more. Owl carrying envelope. Owls, owls don't deliver mail. That's unusual. That's fun. I like the blue. It reminds me of the illustrated one from before. I don't feel like we see a lot of this color blue on the Harry Potter uh, ones. I like it. I like the glow on the owl. Yeah, I'll give it a, mm, it's like a six. <sighs> Italian motto edition. I don't know what's supposed to be happening here. It's very simple looking. Is this supposed to be the sorting hat? I guess, maybe. <laughs> it's so little. I, I couldn't find a good image of this one either, if you couldn't tell. Okay, HarryPotterWorth.com. Yeah. <laughs> Where you find out what this Harry Potter cover is worth.com. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. This, this feels, um, I, I don't know what the hat is. I don't know what the or hat if is. If it is a hat or, yeah, I need more information. I, <laughs> but you shouldn't need more information, right? Yeah, no, that's mm, one. Okay, this is another serial one. So like before, there's like a two part to it. So that's uh, part one, part two. I'm sorry, the screen keeps flashing like that. That's part one, part two. Uh, so right here we have. Hagrid giving uh, Harry to Dumbledore, or no, to McGonagall with Dumbledore standing right there. That seems like perfectly good opening. That's gonna be in the first chapter, kind of like what we were saying earlier. That is gonna happen immediately. You can tell from their hats that they're kind of like wizardy or magical or something. Hagrid looks larger than life. So you can tell it's magical. I like that right out of the gate. And then also, boy, I gotta tell you though, Norbert is looking a little derpy. I'm not just, you know, I'm just gonna say it. Uh, it looks like the challenge was you can't pick your pencil up until you finish drawing the dragon. So get ready. Uh, also, Norbert's not this big. Yeah, uh, just, unless that's supposed to be a shell. Oh, you're right. Maybe this is the shell and this is like baby Norbert. I guess you're right. Maybe that's what's happening there. But then he looks huge. He does, he does look huge. Um, hmm. I, I mean, like, Norbert, yeah, I really, I feel like this is almost tripping at the finish line a little bit, or like, go back. Yeah. Like, this one looks really, like, you can see the art style, and it looks really, like, refined, like, yeah. the way that, like, all the shading and everything has been done. But if you go forward, it almost seems like, like, uh, somebody said, like, and that's time. Right. And, like, the the dragon didn't get to, like, it looks so fully sad. have the same treatment, and only, like, the outline was done. So, like, I would say, I actually really love that yeah i think that's pretty beautiful that it's really good. cool it's a it's a different scene to be selected but it's super emotional you can tell hagrid like cares deeply for harry and the way that he's like holding him um all that is really great so i would like i mean in my mind i see the first one and i'm like i would say like seven and a half to eight territory yeah like, i, think I feel really good about it like a seven i think 
Uh, this one I would have to, to, I would say drags it down a little bit. And in, in my personal- <laughs> Dragons it down. Uh, dragons it down, ha, <laughs> nailed it. Um, I would say like in my mind, this is more like a, a three to 3.5. Yeah, I think that's totally fair. New, now, okay, wow. It's like they heard everything we said. This is an updated Japanese cereal. So it's another two parter. Sorry about the flashing. There is part one. There is part two, so let's talk about this one first. I like this one a lot. I like Harry is wearing the appropriate clothing to be arriving at Hogwarts, which you can see in the background. Again, Owl carrying the letter, always a little mysterious. You've got Hagrid back there. You've got the Scarlet Steam Engine. It looks probably informed by the movie, which, because like just based on the train and the outfit and stuff, and even maybe uh, Hagrid back there. So there is that, but they do change the art style entirely. It's not like they just put like a filter over Daniel Radcliffe or something. They've got Harry looking pretty stoic, which yeah. is kind of cool. Like I, I feel like depending, sometimes like the imagery that they provide you with Harry, I think will will sort of like color how you interpret him as a character as yeah. to, like whether or not he's like, <laughs> like a little bit like cooler, a little bit more like fumbling along the way. Um, this certainly gives you a, a feel for a Harry that's pretty cool. Yeah, I like that Harry. And then again, we said this earlier, I think if, you're, if you've already read the first half and this is the cover for the second half of the book, you already know about the wizard's chest and it's like, oh, I see what's gonna happen. The stakes have been raised. There's a giant chess set now. And uh, you know how wizard's chess works. The chess pieces come to life. So it does look like a threat. Same thing, you already know who Ron and Hermione are at this point, whereas they're not included here because you haven't met them yet, but you do know them now. Um, so I like this overall a lot. I think that's like, I think it's like an eight and an eight for me. Oh, Japanese edition. Wow. Uh, we've got, we've gone, we've gone on a roller coaster ride here because now we're just at like a neon sign of the back of a broom, I guess. Right? Or like the back of a horse's tail. I think it's a broom. Um, mm, not, not giving me a whole lot of information to go off of. Uh, and that's just really, it's not even how the, I mean, yeah, I, I I would say it's not it's not uninteresting looking. Yeah, but I don't know. Like even if even if like you were to get this as like a tattoo, I'm I'm not even a hundred percent sure what it. If it, it seems like a broom. Yeah, I think this is a broom. But you're right. If I just saw this like out of context without the word Harry Potter next to it, I'd be like, what is that? It looks yeah. like almost a tail or something. It does. Yeah. So yeah. I don't. I mean, there, there's maybe like a little bit of squiggly like lightning bolt if you kind of turned your head sideways. Oh, and, like, I guess. Squid, yeah. Like you could you could argue for that, but still. Um. Mm. Uh, yeah. The the other thing I would say about it's kind of interesting is the where the the uh, that yellow text drops yeah. into the frame. Like I almost feel like if they just had like the outline of this of this broomstick tail centered on like the like the lower third or closer to like the middle. Yeah, of like it. they have a lot of negative space they didn't use. Yeah, like the rule of thirds is not being um, abided by very well. Mm -mm. Um, so I I don't think it, I don't think it's going to give you a proper depiction of anything that is to nope. come. Nope. Two. All right, German Book Club edition. All right, so it's basically just we have Harry being sorted, I guess, underneath the sorting hat. But I, I don't really love this depiction because one, uh, he's supposed to be in the Great Hall here, so there's no one else in the room with this. This is where the teacher should be, right? And they just have portraits instead. I'm not sure what this like toilet paper on the hat. That's what it makes it look like to me. Is like there, yeah, someone defiled the hat ahead of time. Um, I'm not sure, I like, yeah, God, that one's sort of weird. Hmm, Germany, you're all over the place. At least, I mean, he's not wearing, he's not wearing his classic uh, Converse here. Trainers, yeah. His trainers, I, uh, Three. German large print edition. Okay, so for context, there is a whole series of these and it is always different pictures that's happening. Um, it's like, when I first saw this one, I was like, it's called large print edition and there's glasses on the front. So is that like a, hey, this is a signal to you person who needs large font that we're, we got you. But actually this is definitely a Harry's glasses depiction. The other ones do have more Harry Potter things. So it's not just uh, indicative of the large font. I will say that. Um, it doesn't look super magical though. I'm gonna say that. I'm not like it, you know, it doesn't invite me to be like, I gotta know what happens. This is a book. What's gonna be on the inside? Book. You know, <laughs> uh, words. Uh, so yeah, and mm, I mean, maybe like with the full set, it's, it looks a little bit better, like with the rest of the context. But I think that's like a yeah, that's still like a two. Oh, here we go. Oh. Deluxe illustrated slipcase. Okay, so 
This, I assume, is the outer slipcase, and this is the inside of it. This is, these are images from within the book by Jim Kay, and they've definitely just been given the gold foil. This is Diagon Alley. That's obviously a snitch. Uh, yeah, that Dude, detailed that's snitch awesome. is, that, that's a glorious ah, looking great. snitch. Yeah, I mean, if you just, cause yeah, if you just see winged ball like this, that's like, what is that? That's cool. That's cool. just cool. Yeah, the snitch is like one of the coolest, like just designed objects. Yeah, and the fact that it's so detailed. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, and then you open it up and you see this, it's like, what is this wonky place? Yeah, no, that's, oof. Man, Jim K is so good. He is, yeah. I feel like he like there's because you could look at the image for for what seems like hours and continuously like see new yeah, things, new yeah. fun stuff to take in. Yeah. Plus, then when you eventually get to this page in the book, you're like, oh, that was the cover. Oh man, yeah. So that's that's very solid. That's like a nine, I think. Boy, on the opposite end, this is a, you know sometimes less is more, and so this is just lightning bolt. Uh, Italian 140th, so whoever the publisher in Italy is, they, they've they been around for a while, and so I guess they were celebrating their 140th anniversary, and they went with the Harry Potter one, because why wouldn't you? Um, I guess that probably means you've already had it. Was Italy the one with the, the rat heads last time, though? Because this is a million times better than that, and I guess if you already know about Harry Potter, maybe the bolt is iconic enough just to be like, Harry Potter! It feels like maybe there must be like a, like a, like a cover that you're supposed to go over top of it or something. I don't know. Um, I mean, it's basic. If you already know what it is, and this isn't all you have to go off of, it's, you know, four. All right, Te Reo Maori edition. Definitely a lot more classic. Big old Hagrid, Harry, Ron, Hermione. We're going to Hogwarts. There's the castle. I mean, this is just a pretty classic image right here, I guess. You can see they're carrying wands. You'll know it's magical immediately. Um, you can see Hagrid's larger than life. You can see the castle. So I think we're going to Hogwarts. That's all very fun. You want to know the story there. I like it. I think that's a, that's a six. And there we go. All right, there we go, guys. Another 45 covers of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. I think we're finally done with this book. I can move on to Chamber, but if I missed any more and you just wanna share them with me, I'd be happy to see them. It is hard to track them all down. Let me tell you, there's not like a great website. If you need a free idea, make a website of literally just all the Harry Potter covers. Just get high quality images. That'd be amazing. It'd make my job so much easier. Uh, I think we're either going to continue on to Chamber of Secrets at some point in the future, provided I can track them all down. But uh, if you want to see me uh, review, if this is the first one you saw and you want to see me re react to the uh, first round of Philosopher's Stone covers, so you can check out this video right here. Ben, thank you for all of your commentary today. And until next time, I will see you in another life, brother.